Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video today, we're going to go ahead and discuss, as the title suggests, matters pertaining to quote unquote deemed repatriation uh, and matters pertaining to taxes uh, and how I see them, uh, possible scenarios uh, moving forward in the future as a result of the recently promulgated uh, so called Trump tax, as I like to call it. Uh, I believe it's called the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act specifically. Um, or I believe, I believe it's actual bill number is HR1 in the, uh, if you, if you want to go look it up uh, at the government printing office is HR1. Um, so some things that I find interesting, I, there's another video on this channel where in part two of a prior sort of overview of Trump tax, uh, we discussed issues pertaining to so-called deemed repatriation as previously noted in that video. Um, I think moving forward, the especially for multinational corporations, the name of the game is going to be basically having an incorporated entity own the shares directly of a foreign offshore entity, um, and then basically, in many ways, pulling cash back into the United States in the form of dividends from one company directly over to the onshore incorporated entity is probably going to become um, a way for many corporations, especially multinationals with hubs or large operations in the states, um, to more effectively pull capital back into the United States compared with the past. So in the past, it may not have been particularly uh, conducive to maintaining the bottom line to go ahead and do that, uh, but I think moving forward, at least under certain circumstances, you're gonna see situations where it's a good idea to, to do that that way. However, uh, you've got issues with respect to those. I, where I see this being a real problem is small companies owned by individual Americans outside the United States. I think you're going to see problems with respect to um, issues, especially pertaining to certain one-time tax, uh, one-time tax issues. So uh, things like uh, foreign, what we're talking about here is um, controlled foreign corporations. So we're talking about entities abroad where an American citizen has a good rule of thumb is 10% or more in terms of stock and the stock shares, interest, stake, if you will, in the foreign corporation. Now this foreign corporation could be partnerships, flow through entities, um, sort of closely held entities analogous to so-called S corporations in the United States, et cetera. Um, the other thing with respect to this is where you've got like, offshore partnerships where one of the partners is an American uh, is an American corporation, I should say. Um, the, the thing to take away uh, with respect to these one-time tax rates is I read it, and let me be clear, um, this video should not be viewed as definitive on this topic. Um, this, 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 re this set of legislation is relatively new. Uh, I've only just finished reading uh, at least what I consider to be the relevant parts, especially to uh, dealing with matters pertaining to Americans abroad. I only got through reading um, the relevant parts of this stuff in about the past, I don't know, about the last 10 days or so. And I've been trying to keep up with uh, all the commentary that I've found out there from various professionals whose opinions um, I value. Uh, and I've sort of taken all of that and tried to sort of create a good distillate for this video. Uh, but that being said, this should not be viewed as definitive. We still don't have a regulatory framework uh, specific to this legislation. We've yet to see any comments uh, directly uh, pertaining to how IRS is going to interpret certain aspects of this legislation. Um, the forms with respect to these matters have yet to be even promulgated. So. Again, this stuff, it's very much up in the air. I'm simply trying to provide a general overview. And again, it should not be viewed as definitive on this topic. Um, but it looks like there's going to be a one-time tax rate of 15.5% uh, for cash um, or it, like equivalents to cash, so like liquid uh, instruments or assets, if you will. Um, and 8% 8, 8 for uh, sort of so-called earnings and profits. Um, or sort of other assets, for lack of a better term, illiquid assets. 
um, that are on the books of a given company. Uh, the way I'm trying to look at this, at least to me, it seems like uh, retained earnings seems to be the relevant uh, sort of locus of where to be looking, especially, again, I'm looking at this from the standpoint of small businesses abroad, um, you know, where you've got an offshore company that basically says, you know, it's going to maintain some retained earnings for various reasons. You know, for example, American citizens may not want to take all of the, you know, profit margin out of a given entity that they own almost in whole uh, because, for example, they may want to try to mitigate their tax, uh, their tax burden in a given calendar year and roll it over to the next year or something like that. Um, retained earnings can be problematic and it looks to me like you're looking at the possibility of a 15.5% tax rate um, on companies that have retained earnings, at least going back to 1986. Again, I'm, this isn't definitive. I'm just sort of giving my opinion based on what I've read. Um, so as far as deemed repatriation specifically and repatriation of earnings abroad, it looks like at least for larger entities, you're going to see sort of an optimal solution in, in a lot of cases, I think is going to be basically just having an onshore, U.S. onshore incorporated entity basically pull money through dividends from owning shares directly in, a, in an offshore uh, foreign controlled corporate or controlled foreign corporation. And um, that's probably going to be the optimal way to deal with it. Uh, one problem is this one-time tax, 15.5%, looking backwards on so-called retained earnings, as I see it, uh, could be a significant problem uh, for American citizens doing business abroad with entities uh, located abroad.